Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Check the link down below for up to 50% off. What? Oh no. What? A fidget toy advent calendar from 2023. Today we're going to be unboxing 48 different fidget toys from two advent calendars. Yes, you heard. We have two advent calendars. One that is exclusively fidget toy, I believe. And this one is from none other than the viral Mrs. Bench. And the next one is from Amazon, and this one seems to have had good reviews. It is a slime advent calendar. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of slime, but if they are scented or if they have a really cool texture, I can totally be on board. And with advent calendar season wrapping up, this is basically one of the last ones we're going to be doing. So let me know so far which one of the advent calendars that we did is your favorite. And also don't forget to let me know which surprise did we get on your day of birth. And don't worry, if your date of birth is after the 24, just take the 24 plus whatever number it is. So you get two surprises and that's what you get. Mine is the 21st. Don't give me months. Mm -mm. Don't give me years. Mm -mm. Just the day on the 21st. <laughs> And as someone with ADHD, I've done so many reviews of fidget toys. Here are just a few thumbnails that we've done. I will put a playlist down below for you to enjoy if you want to see more. With that said, let's go ahead and put the slime over here. And we're gonna start with the fidget toys. And just to be fully transparent, this was sent to me directly by Mrs. Bench. However, all opinions are my own, okay? Me, I don't be like, oh, this is my friend, this is perfect. No, I say, this is my friend, I won't support you, but if things need to be changed, I'll definitely let them know. The box itself is absolutely adorable, and the numbers are so clear to see. I'm really happy to see that. I'm hoping that the compartments are going to be easy to open and not just going to rip apart. And more importantly, I hope the quality of the fidget toys in there are actually amazing. I'm the kind of person who absolutely loves obnoxious fidget toys so we'll see if we get more of these and let me know which kind is your favorite and if you're new here make sure you subscribe and click on all notification while you're there which will turn you into a grain of salt in the salt shaker family was this don't worry this is the sharp pointy thing by the way, my newest craft kit is now available. If you ever wanted to make your own custom figure in an acrylic pour style, we have you covered. Ever since I did that project with my sister, I was extremely obsessed with wanting to make more of these. And so that's why we have the Figure It Out box. Figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> with this kit, you can make your very own custom bear or any other creature with the air dry clay that comes inside. And yes, this kit does include everything you need, including six mini bears that you can use as charms or keychains, close to a liter of paint with eight different colors, and a total of over 14 items in the box. If you want the full detailed video, I will link it down below, but also something else amazing in there. With every box, you're going to be getting a pack of mystery stickers that we put together with bear puns for this kit. There are 10 stickers to collect, in which one of them is holographic, and if you're one of the lucky three to get a golden card, you'll get the chance to be one of the VIPs in live streams, and you get to choose one of the vlogs that I can make on my vlog channel if you want me to craft something different or if you want me to review a local restaurant or anything of that sort, of course. But I have to say I'm really excited about this kit and I can't wait to see what you all make. Of course, with every box, you will be getting tutorials of how to use the items in there. Again, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you, Grain, so much for supporting me throughout all the projects. Back to the regular programming. And without further delay, let's go ahead and there's this sound, by the way. I don't know if you can... No? No? Now it's making me into a liar. There was a sound, and I don't know where it's coming from, but okay, let's find out what is in our first compartment over here. Please open right. Okay, so far so good. Oh yes. And the first thing we have is the marble in a mesh. And this is actually pretty relaxing if you want something quiet. Here, listen to that. Yeah, you can't hear anything because it's just, it's nice and quiet. This is perfect for the office or even a classroom. And it helps relieve that itch of wanting to move something back and forth. And this is great if you put it in your hoodie. Yeah, I love this. These are one of my favorites. Very quiet, not obnoxious, but definitely handy. Get it? Because you could leave it in your hand and use it. Yeah? No? Okay, no. Day two over here. What is that? Excuse me. Okay, there's something from the other side. Let's just stuff it back into 18. <laughs> what is this? Okay, this smells really good. So we do have a macaron, not to be confused with a macaroon, and it smells like a sweet berry. I'm guessing this is a container of some sort. And oh, oh, it's a putty. Okay, that's cute. I'm pretty sure I saw something like this on TikTok. So let's see if this smells good. 
I want to say yes, but no, because I smell the other thing too. But this is a really nice putty. It actually has a really nice hand feel to it. And it is pretty soft. So I'm, I'm really liking the softness of this. Okay, cute. We get an absolutely adorable container of a macaron with a putty. I like that. That's new. Day three is absolutely tiny. And what are you? Are you empty? You are empty. So we... <laughs> We lost. Mrs. Bench, I think you're gonna have to put your fidget toys a little bit more firm in there. All right, he's hoping day four stayed in place. It is a pretty big one. What I would love to see is that little nub so that we can pull the tabs outwards. Otherwise, what I'm doing is pushing in and hoping I get a good grip. And we have a monkey noodle, which I adore. And we're going still with the theme of quiet fidget toys at this time. And what I love about monkey noodles, I kind of got my dad really into them. And every time I get them, he's like, can I have some more, please? Look at that. It's quiet. It's like a helicopter. And you can just basically fidget with it as quietly as you want. You can make little knots. You can unknot it. You can just stretch it. You can double stretch it. You can double knot, whatever you want. I really like the hand fidgety ones, except there's a little bit of a nib here. Pull this off. Because of the shipment, it looks like there was some kind of indents done to it. So I'm wondering if there's a way to ship this without having it knotted the entire way. Day five down here and a fidget cube. Excellent. When I had my own fidget toy box, I absolutely wanted to include a fidget cube. Here's what it looks like. The entire kit was really fun to put together. They're not available anymore, but let's go ahead and play with the buttons. Some of them should be silent. Some of them should make clicks. Quiet, click, 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 and quiet. Then we have this here, which is great. Absolutely phenomenal to turn around. We have a joystick and you can push down. No, no push down. Clicky. And then here is great, kind of like a worry stone. I love this. And then here we have little dials and also a little ball. But otherwise, this actually feels nice. It's not lightweight. It actually feels really good. I think one of my biggest complaints last year was some of the fidget toys were just exclusively Christmas themed, whereas these ones are all year round, which I kind of like. Day six over here. Let's see what you have. Is a tiny poppet. Here we have a blue star. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, that was actually really easy to push in. Let's hear that pop out. Oh, nice. This is actually really cute. I like the portability of it. Day seven is a really long one. Oh, excuse me. Another monkey, right? Another monkey noodle. This one should be scented. Yes, I'm going to get a text after this video and my dad's gonna be like, give it to me. Here we have a vanilla scented one that is kind of like Twizzlers. If you don't know Twizzlers, they're basically a plastic candy that we have here in North America. I know it looks like plastic, but it's kind of fun to chew on. Can I, can I get you? Oh my goodness. This was tied. Oh my goodness. Huh? Huh? Ah, thank the gods. So here we have another monkey noodle. This one is way softer. It's actually smelling really nice, much, much softer. And of course you can still do the flipping. I love that sound. I'm not mad about this. I would like to see more variety before we start getting into doubles though. So that's another thing. Maybe keep the doubles or other monkey noodles near the end. Day eight is another long one over here. Don't tell me it's another monkey noodle. No, it's a pop tube. These ones are phenomenal if you love being obnoxious. Yes. There's not much to say about pop tubes other than the fact that they are perfect if you like crunchy sounds to help keep your mind quiet. Okay, that's enough. Now we're back to smaller compartments. Number nine. Yeah, you see, we need that little knob because I'm having a hard time getting in there. A zipper. We have a pink and white zipper. Let's hear that. This sounds good. Would love to see a deeper zip. But otherwise, this is not bad at all. It's not getting stuck. And you could technically put it as a bracelet, but I think it's probably better around your bag or backpack. So that way you can not lose it when you zip it. Another tiny compartment. I'm guessing one of them is going to have multiple things in there because we did lose one. We have a little bean thing. Now, normally these little bean things do upset me, even if just slightly, because some of them end up being extremely hard to push out. So let's see the quality of this one. Okay, that's actually really easy to push out. 
And we have a little Mameshiba in here. For those of you who don't know Mameshiba, here's the little cartoon character it's based off. And then this one, also easy. Let's check out this one. Yeah, okay, very easy to fidget with. So if you like pushing things around, <laughs> fidget toys, I mean then this is good. However, if I had to choose between these two over here, I'm more likely to take this one because there's less resistance. And as someone who has chronic pains and conditions, definitely the least resistance, the better. Back up top with day 11. Oh, oh, wait, there's two items in here. There you go. Okay, so the second item moved upwards. So I'm guessing this is the one with the rounded one that we opened, Kitty Editor. What day was that on again? It was the rounded one that was empty. Yeah, that one. So here we have a fidget ring that's kind of a massager. I really like this because it, it really does a good massage. It feels very nice. It feels really, really good. So if you like to fidget with rings, this is definitely one of them. Love it. And now this one is straight out of the 1980s, or is it 1990s? Very colorful, very poppy, solid base. Let's go ahead and try. Nice, on the way out, yes. And it does have an attachment here that you can put on a clasp or on a string and put it on your bag or backpack, or even on your belt, if you wanna fidget with it on your side. Loving it. And I love the colors too, these are great. And at least the mystery of the missing one showed up. Day 12. Oh, that is soft. What? Oh no. <laughs> what? Mrs. Bitch? What? So just to be clear, I know what you're thinking because I know what I'm thinking, but that's not what it is. It is a peach. It still doesn't, it still does not look right. <laughs> oh goodness, Mrs. Bench. This is probably the most interesting peach I have ever seen. It feels nice though. This is a peach. This is a fruit. This is a fruit. This is a fruit. Okay, this is a fruit. This is a fruit. So here we have a peach mochi. It feels very nice. It, it's kind of like a neato ball. There's a bit of a slime on the inside. You know what? You get, you get it. You get it. Well, we should just move on. It's, it feels nice. It just looks interesting. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bench. You sent this to me. By the way, if any of your brains are like Salty Crafter who likes to shop deals for the holidays during Cyber Mondays and Black Fridays, and you're looking for that perfect gift for someone who loves to listen to music or a podcast, or even just keep their entertainment contained within themselves, then I have the perfect sponsor for today's video, Raycon. For those of you who don't know Raycon, they are by far my favorite earbuds ever with the everyday earbuds. Delivering premium audio quality, starting at only about half the price of other premium brands out there. It's no wonder that Raycon has earned tens of thousands of five-star reviews. They offer free and easy returns, free shipping, as well as buy now and pay later options. And even though Raycon is known for their everyday earbuds and everyday headphones, they have a new line of Raycon Home and Raycon PowerTech products, such as the Magic 180 cable, which is the ultimate all-in-one charging cable, great for rotation, all-in-one compatibility, hyperspeed charging, and yes, even the faucet filter to help improve your daily water quality. And with Black Friday and Cyber Monday around the corner with up to 50% off by going to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get up to 50% site-wide, you can also check out their limited time deals and bundles such as tech kit bundles which could be the fitness audio kit or even the everyday audio kit and this is Raycon's biggest deal ever so make sure that you do shop before November 27th again check my link down below or the pinned comment go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdy crafter for up to 50% site-wide remember that supporting our sponsors also directly supports our channel thank you Raycon for sponsoring a portion of today's video let's move on day 13 oh we have an Orbeez ball this one here is pretty textured, so it does feel nice. It does lean on the sticky side, but it feels good. It looks nice. Not much to say about it. Just looks great. The only issue with these kinds of balls is if you really do squeeze too often, they do tend to burst at some point. Just be very careful where they may burst. Day 14. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh no, this bear. Why does it look angry? <laughs> <laughs> we have another kind of needle type ball. It looks like we have some slime and gold on the inside. This bear really looks angry. I don't know what I did, but I'm feeling, is it the peach? Is it because of the peach? This bear is angry at me for talking about the peach for so long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry my mind lives in the, the sewers. 
but otherwise it does feel very normal and again it leans towards the sticky side a little bit on the outside so if you don't like that texture keep that in mind it's a very slow squish hear that almost sandy but i do like the color here's what it looks like all the way around 15 is another long one and we have oh i like these I only actually have one other one and it kind of reminds me of the rocket popsicles in terms of the color if you don't know the rocket popsicles here's what it looks like don't know if it's common in other countries but i know for sure i've had it in both egypt and north america but basically it's a tentacle you put it on your desk listen to that it makes little squeaky sounds and then you just pull it it's great it's obnoxious it is perfection I like it. Mrs. Bench, so far this is a really good fidget toy advent calendar. I have to say it doesn't have all the generic stuff that most of them have. Some are, some are different, but mostly pretty different. Let's check out 16. I'm liking this. And you are one of my favorites. These chains are really quiet and if you like fidgeting with any kind of thing in your pocket, this basically replaces it because it just twists. Look at that. This is what it twists like. And you can do it with just one hand. And it's easy on the joints, easy on the fingers. It is just smooth, it is perfection. Love this, I always keep them. Another long one here, day 17. I see a wacky track, I think it's wacky track. Yep, we have a wacky, tr oh that is a big one. These are generally not my favorite. Let's see what this one is like. Oh, this one's actually closed? No, you can actually put them together. Nice, the wacky tracks. I think, am, am I saying it wrong? <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. And basically you can move them like joints in different directions. So it is definitely a great mindless way to fidget and make shapes. And I love the color and it's not the flimsy type. This is actually really good quality plastic. Very nice. On to day 18, but I feel like we know what this is going to be. This is going to be definitely another, oh, this is broken. Another monkey noodle, but this one looks like a worm. It also smells really good. It has a vanilla scent to it, but I think this might actually be broken. Oh no, oh no. I think this one's broken. I can see something hanging by a thread right here. Oh no. I feel like sometimes making it this tight when you're wrapping it up is going to lend itself to something broken. So maybe Mrs. Bench, don't tie them up so hard or whoever's tying them up, do not tie them this hard. My goodness, my goodness. Let's try and get this. My goodness, can, can I know? Yeah, this is doomed. This is a doomed piece. There you go. It is torn, it is broken. The tying of the monkey noodles is not working out for the monkey noodles. It's just causing damage. So unfortunately, this is a lost one. Goodbye, adieu. It was nice never having met you. Unfortunately, I would have liked to. <laughs> 19. Okay, these are the suction ones. Let's see if it's any good or if it's going to put resistance. Too much resistance. It's an obnoxious one, but the idea is that the suctions should hold on to each other, but because there's too much resistance, it doesn't stay. No. Because they're supposed to stick together like this, and then you can turn it around and pop it the other way. So this one is too much resistance, unfortunately. But if you like obnoxious, it's got you covered. Number 20. This is getting harder another remote oh look at the strap on this wait it looks like we have two straps so it must have wandered from somewhere else but basically this is kind of like the fidget cube just a different shape so we have clickers quiet noisy quiet little joystick a spring which is one of my favorite things to do because i like clicking pens except now it's not a pen you could just keep going we have another switch Sounds good. And here we have a turny thing, but it's not turning. Hello? This is not turning. You can see here, this is not turning. So it's having a hard time turning. It's kind of stuck. And then we have dials. It's pretty quiet. Quiet on this side and quiet on this side. Yeah, this one's not working though. Also, I have quite a few of these. So can't complain because I do like them. I just wish this one worked. And now we are finally at my day of birth. Let's see if we get anything good on the 21st. And the answer is... Mm, this is one of my least favorites. I, I just don't know what to do with these. I don't know how to fidget with this. I guess you could put it on your finger and just twirl, but it doesn't feel good. Not one bit. If anyone knows how to fidget with this properly, please let me know because it is definitely feeling like good heavy quality. I'm just not sure how to play with this. Nope, not sure how. 22 all the way up there. And it looks like it is 
What are you? Another monkey noodle. What the shrimp? I'm not actually, is this a monkey noodle? What is that? No, it is a snake. That is a snake. That is an interesting looking snake. It's a very interesting looking snake. It is a snake. It is a snake. The other one's a peach. This is a snake. It's kind of dirty. Not sure how I fidget with this. So it just kind of feels like a rubbery toy. So I'm gonna say this doesn't feel like it belongs. Kind of a filler. This is a snake. This is a snake. This is a snake. Yeah, I don't feel like this belongs. Definitely not where it should be. Not a fidget for me. Day 23 is, oh no, it's a puzzle. Or is it? No, it is not a puzzle. It's another kind of wacky track, but the ones with the really sharp edges, so you have to be very careful because I've hurt myself on these. This one's a little popping out and the edges are extremely sharp. I would not recommend these because you can easily get hurt on the corners, but otherwise it is kind of like a puzzle. You can make different shapes and whatnots. Not my favorite. So I feel like the snake and this one are okay, but the edges on these ones are absolutely dangerous. So keep them out of your reach or your fingers. But we are at 24 and it is one heck of a big one. If I'm gonna take a guess, it's going to probably be a huge pop it. So let's go ahead and pull all of this out. Crazy cube, what is that? I have no idea what a crazy cube is. Let's find out. Is that an infinity cube? I think, oh, that is heavy. That is nice. Okay, yeah, it's an infinity cube. Basically a cube that just keeps going. Look at that. It was also one of the other things I had in my fidget kit. So you know I like these, love it. And it has a nice weight to it. This is great. But basically here's everything that was in the Mrs. Bench fidget toy advent calendar. Now I'm curious to see what's going to be inside the slime advent calendar. And if you do want more information on Mrs. Bench, I will link it down below as well as where you can get your own. And coming in at $24, which means every compartment is about $1, which kind of makes this pretty cheap for an advent calendar. We have the slime one. Now again, I'm really excited to look at this one and hoping that this is actually dessert themed or at least dessert scented. But I'm going to say one of my biggest complaints on something like this is that they usually end up giving you the same thing over and over. And then some compartments are just glitter. So. Let's see how that looks. And we'll start off with number one. And it looks like there's a bit of a, yeah, a knob over here. See, this is what Mrs. Bench needs to do. You need to have a little handle here and then we can pull it out. Excuse me. What is that? An egg? <laughs> what? All right, so we're starting off day one with some kind of egg. Let's see. I'm guessing that's a putty. Okay, two colors. We have a putty. Oh, let's hear that. That's cute, very stretchy, very soft. This is nice. Okay, so we're starting off strong with a putty egg. I did not expect that. Let's put you back in here and smush you back in. Cute. Day two is rounded, so I'm guessing this will be a slime. Yes. Now the question is how do we get these out? There you go. These are all wrapped up. I'm gonna need my sharp pointy thing. Interesting. Hang on, I'm gonna show you what I think is interesting. The charm is already on the in. The in you saw nothing. As I was saying, the charm is actually on the inside of the slime itself instead of an extra packet. So let's see what we have. And it looks like we have a bear with some fruit slices. Let's get you out. Cute, very wintry, still putty-esque, nice and firm. I really like this texture. So far, so good. It's not those sticky slime. I don't like sticky slime. Okay, this looks promising so far. Day three is right above. What are you? Another slime. Oh, that is a different texture. Excuse me. The problem with a lot of these is they usually give you the exact same texture. I've done videos about these before. And here it looks like we have a Christmas hat, again, with some fruit slices. How do you feel? Oh. Very nice. Very airy. It does feel a little bit like air dry clay. And again, the charms are on the inside. So we're not wasting compartments trying to look for charms so far. This is great, let's keep going. I'm kind of curious to see a few of them in a row. So let's go ahead and do day four because I'm feeling some of them are going to be repeated. So we have another one of the clear slimes. Day five is likely to be an egg. Yep, let's take that out. And then day six also looks to be an egg. Yep, all right, let's, let's pull all of these out and test them out in terms of texture. Let's get both eggs opened up and see if there's anything different about them. And let's hear that pop, no pop. Okay, I'm actually surprised this is really soft. Listen to that. Nice and airy. 
Again, very cute, exactly the same. There's no hidden charm on the inside, which I think could have been really cool to have an inner charm hidden somewhere. And now for the purple and pink instead of the blue and pink. And let's hear that soft airiness. Yep. Nice and soft. Very nice. Again, no charm. And then similarly to the one where we had the polar bear, we do have a yellow one. It looks to be a Christmas tree. And let's hear that. Yep, this is exactly the same texture as the blue one, except we have a Christmas tree and the fruits. This feels good. Very soft, not sticky. So if you hate slime because of the stickiness, this is not sticky at all. Not slimy, just putty. You know what? Let's just open all of them. So I think the best way to do this is going to open the side and hope for the best. All right, let's get you open. Oh my goodness. This is really pretty. They actually put a really good variety of colors in here. And it looks like we're getting quite a few of these putty eggs, quite a few of these kinds of slime and also some of the transparent ones. We are not getting any kind of filler compartments like just glitter or just confetti, which makes this a really good value. I absolutely love the fact that every single color is different from the other. So just to give you grains a reminder, this is the one we're looking at, which is kind of putty and very fun. I'm really having fun with this, is too much fun. Kitty editor, don't judge me. I'm loving this. And we have it in orange with a wreath, Clear Santa, purple Santa, green snowman, red Rudolph, and another pink Santa. And then in the foamy texture that's like this one, which I like the gel one better, but this is okay. We have black candy cane. By the way, none of these actually have any kind of scent, which is disappointing because I don't understand why they're dessert themed. Yellow stocking, red snowman, green mitten, orange holly, mistletoe, plant. <laughs> pink bell and purple present. And the eggs are equally interesting because they're all different color combinations, which is really hard to do. So since this is repetitive, I figured it wouldn't make any sense for me to go through every single one, but I do have to say that this is definitely worth it if you're looking for something slime or even, what's the word? Sensory. I do like this. I actually like both of these fidget kind of advent calendars. Let me know which one of the two is your favorite. If you want to watch more advent calendars, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something different and crafty, make sure you click over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.